everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. Uh, right off the bat, fantastic book. So if you're one of those people who just want to get in, see if I like it and get out, I absolutely loved this book. Um, it, there are a couple chapters at the end that I didn't see, not necessarily that I, that I didn't see a point, so I gotta trim my mustache, um, that I didn't see a point in, but I don't think they fit with the themes of the rest of the book, and that's fine. It's not that I didn't like reading them, I just didn't see why they were included in this memoir. Um, I don't have much to say about the book itself other than if you have any triggers regarding um, sexual assault or uh, homophobia or racism or any of that stuff, probably stay away from this because this book gets rough in certain sections, especially the section on, uh, sorry, this one, I got this one mustache here, especially the, especially the, uh, the scene, um, I laughed and I shouldn't have, sorry, I was still laughing about the mustache here, um, the, the scene of the, the sexual assault, uh, is very, very troubling. Uh, I will say that because he goes into very graphic detail and considering who it's with, it's even more disturbing. But that's all I want to say about the book itself. Uh, where I want to end this review, the whole rest of the review, is I want to talk about why I picked this up. From a very, very early age, and oddly enough, I was a, I was a devout Christian until I was about 13 years old. And I went to summer camp and one of the kids there uh, said, you know, Jesus is just Santa Claus for adults. And I was like, that something clicked in my brain and I started doing my own research and I'll be damned if I couldn't find anything to back up the religion. But, that's beside the point. Uh, what, the one good thing that religion, at least my, my pastor, um, taught me was that we were all the same. And that clicked with me very early on also. I remember, it was probably about eight or nine years old, this thing occurred to me. No matter what color we are, no matter what uh, background we're from, no matter what sexuality we are, um, back then there wasn't too much, there wasn't really any talk um, about gender and sexuality. Uh, you just knew that some people, some men liked men, some women liked women. And now, these days, we have the entire spectrum to look at. But at a very early age, I realized that we're all just flesh. It's all just flesh. So whether or not I had ended up with a man or a woman, I didn't discriminate whatsoever. I just ended up... I. I happened upon the most wonderful woman in the world who ended up saving my life, uh, my wife Shell. We've been together 20 years, uh, going on 21 uh, next May. So, uh, but what my, my point is, I don't understand all the hullabaloo. Now when I say it's all just flesh to me, um, I'm talking about consenting adults, okay? I'm not talking about bestiality, I'm not talking about pedophilia, I'm not talking about hebophilia, any of that stuff. I'm talking about consenting adults. From a very early age, like I said, I've said it numerous times so far, I'm repeating myself, but I realize that it's all just flesh. Um, there's no sin, there's none of that drama, um, there's, the, there's none of that bullshit. And we, we look at other people that might look different or like things that are different from us, and for some odd reason we judge. Um, now I'm not saying you do, I'm not saying I do, but we as a society, we as a culture, we as a species judge. Um, and that's one of the things that I try to talk about on this channel, what I try to bring out, unless you're a Trump supporter, bye, um, but I try to, I try to talk to people, I try to get to know them, um, unless of course it is vastly obvious, like I'm not going to walk up to a clan member in a robe and try to have a discussion with the dude, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, when we talk about books, when we talk about entertainment, we, people are more likely to accept that you like a different form of entertainment then if you like, let's say, if you're a dude that likes another dude, or your chick likes another chick, or you're non-binary, or you're gender fluid, or any number of these things. I don't understand what, if any business of yours, who I'm sleeping with. It, there, there is none, whatsoever. And it's none of my business who you're sleeping with. But on, at the same time, this world has been built on labels. Everything has to have a label. Everything, everybody has to be something. Everybody has to be in a box, and I don't agree with that. Um, I don't agree with labels, that's why I never talk about my own sexuality. Yes, I am cis, yes, I am married to a woman, um, but 
I, I'm not going to talk about my other experiences or any of that crap. I'm not, I'm not going to. It, it, it's not your business, like I said. Just like your sexuality is none of my business. So while I support my friends who are uh, in the LGBTQ uh, plus spectrum, while I support it, I, I tend to stay away from coming out videos and, and things like that because I, just, I don't see you that way. I don't see you as a label. I see you as my friend. I see you as another human being. I don't care who you sleep with. I don't care what's going on in your pants. I don't care about any of that stuff. If you're a decent human being, man, I'm going to be a decent human being right back to you. And I wish all of us would do that. I'm going to get off my soapbox now um, and go back to the book. Yes, there are certain... The, the book, like Michelle Obama's uh, Becoming, uh, I got a lot of nasty uh, comments on that one. And the book is about hope. Um, it, it's, it, I find it funny that people, there are people out there who hear the word hope and automatically their butthole clenches. It's like, oh my god, some hope! I, I, I don't get that. I don't, how you I don't see how you lose your mind over something positive. I don't. And yes, there's something to be said that if you get your hopes up, you're going to fall even farther. You know, you're getting your hopes up, you're going to fall, whatever, huh? wordplay. But, it, but there has to be hope. There, there has to be something. There has to be, a, you know, you have to do with... You know, you, what, what's the use in walking around miserable all day? It's, it's I guess, my, my question to you. But this is, a, this is one of those books that I wish I could put into the hands of a Trump supporter or put into the hands of a, a religious extremist who thinks that homosexuality is a sin or any, any number of the people who would disagree with the viewpoints in this book. I wish I could give them this book and force them to read it. Like, look, this is a decent human being living a decent life leave them the hell alone. Anywho, that's all my thoughts on this book. You got a little bit, you got a little bit of me um, in there. You got a little bit of you know, some of everything, just my opinion on the world and sexuality and gender as, as it is. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this review. If not, I'm sure you'll let me know with the dislikes. But uh, yeah, if you've read this, let me know um, if you liked it or if you disliked it. This time, I'm not going to argue with you. If you disliked it, this whatever. I mean, this isn't fiction. This is another person's life. Uh, I, I will say that the, the writing is a little bit simplistic, um, but I think that's just because it's in the YA genre, because every now and again, Johnson would go in and he'd have a great turn of phrase. But it is very, very and it's also super short. You see, see how big that type is? Um, and it's only, I think, 300 pages long. But uh, if you like memoirs, definitely give it a shot. If, you, if you're open-minded to other people's life stories, certainly give it a shot. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!